How does a gear pump work? In a gear pump, the meshing of gears is used to pump fluid. The gears are located within the housing of the pump. One of the gears is the drive gear. It is connected to the engine or drive. The second gear is the driven gear. When the gear teeth come out of the mesh, additional volume is formed. And when they go into the mesh, this volume decreases. The area where the gear teeth come out of the mesh will be connected to the suction line. And the area where the gear teeth go into the mesh will be connected to the discharge line. When the gear teeth come out of the mesh, the volume of the chamber increases and the pressure inside this chamber becomes lower than atmospheric pressure. Fluid from the tank enters the pump and fills the space between the gear teeth and the housing. As the gears rotate, the fluid flows along the perimeter to the discharge area, where the gear teeth go into the mesh once again. At this point, the chamber volume decreases and the fluid is forced into the pump's discharge channel. It is important to understand that the fluid in the gear pump does not flow through the mesh. It cannot do so as the gaps in the mesh are very small. The fluid moves along the perimeter of the gears, filling the depressions between the gear teeth. How does an external gear pump work? The housing of the pump contains friction bearings. These bearings have grooves to provide for the lubrication of rotating parts, as well as to direct any leaks to the suction area. The bearings are fitted with the gear shafts. There are seals to ensure the leak-proof separation of the suction and discharge channels. The front and back covers are bolted to the housing. The shaft sleeve and the rubber rings prevent fluid from flowing out of the pump. How does an internal gear pump work? Gear pumps can have not only external, but also internal gearing. Let's take a closer look at how an internal gear pumps functions. The suction channel is located at the point where the gear teeth come out of the mesh, and the discharge channel is located at the point where they go into the mesh. A crescent-shaped seal ensures the suction area is separated from the discharge area. Without the separator, fluid will simply keep on flowing inside the pump. When the gear teeth come out of the mesh, fluid fills the space between them. As the gear teeth rotate farther, the fluid is delivered to the area where the gear teeth go into the mesh. From there, it will be forced into the discharge channel. Internal gear pumps work more smoothly than external gear pumps. But they are also more expensive because of the higher complexity of the manufacturing process. What problems can occur during gear pump operation? Bearing wear. The material of the gears is harder than that of the bearings, and so the bearings will wear out faster during operation. Bearing wear can cause increased leaks inside the housing. Shaft sleeve wear. Oil will flow out through a damaged shaft sleeve. If the seals become damaged, fluid may begin to flow from the discharge area to the suction area. This causes a reduction in the working pressure and supply. Gear pumps are used for supplying working fluid in the hydraulic systems of machine presses, machine tools, and construction and agricultural machinery, such as tractors, bulldozers, and excavators. Write in the comments below which gear pumps you would like to know more about, and we will do our best to make a video about them.